Walking around Southampton's parks in the daytime, it's apparent how popular these pathways are. Personal safety doesn't seem to be an issue. However, just last week, two young women were the victims of assault here on two separate occasions. During the summer, skies remain bright at this time, but now, as the winter season continues, the nights creep in earlier. As a result of the recent attacks, local residents have requested that something be done to improve the safety of these green areas at night. With most previous attackers using darkness as an accomplice, what can the council do to help? Well, we think the, the, the parks are fairly well lit at the moment, but there is a group called the Park Safety Group, which the South Parks Manager, colleagues from the city safety team and the uh, police team, we walk, walk around fairly regularly at night time, just making sure there's no blind spots or black spots, areas we might need to improve the lighting slightly or else to cut back a bit of vegetation which may be overgrowing that could potentially harbour criminal activities. Recent government statistics show Southampton as the third most dangerous city in the UK. Undoubtedly, these parks, so close to the busy city centre, are at the core of these complaints. The Crimes Prevention Officer for this city, Sarah Badham, discusses safety in Southampton. Some people think the more lights you throw at a situation, the less crime you have. There's not actually that correlation. Um, you have to assess the lighting levels based on the particular area and the problems you experience. So, for instance, by increasing the light into a, to a larger amount may actually get encourage more people into the park at night time and we're then encouraging people into an isolated area so it's not necessarily the best solution. With no immediate plans for change advice to local residents is to be cautious once darkness falls. This is Tasha Pert for Solent News.